Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I know that I look like a washed homeless man, but that's okay. Today, I want to talk to you about Bonus Game Corner. Because this morning, uh, they released Patch 4, and I just wanted to go over it with you guys. This is just a broad little rambly video. Let's get into it. So, starting with, they've added, uh, for colorblind people of different types, they've added uh, in the accessibility tab the ability of changing colors and stuff around in the UI uh, based on if someone has protanda, protantopia, uh, duraprantopia, or tritinotopia. I'm, I'm bad at reading. I, English is my first language, and I, and, and I am not good at it. Uh, it changes the way that uh, uh, characters are outlined in their... Um, in the order, making it easier for people to, at a glance, identify who goes first in the uh, uh, damage attack thingamajig. Let me put on some music also, so we're, it's a little... So, like, we have a little bit of sound in the background. You can now dismiss dead avatars to Wither's wardrobe, and Wither's also will explain how the wardrobe works. You can custom now customize hirelings' appearance when recruiting them, and they added a dedicated colorblind mode, like which is what I talked about a little earlier. Gameplay changes. They've refined Scratch's fetch behavior. He'll now fetch pretty much anything. Uh, Archfey Warlocks will now get a choice of cantrip at level 4, as intended, and updated the mechanics of Speak with the Dead so you can cast it again if you didn't ask any questions the first time. For example, if the corpse don't want to speak to its killer, then you can cast the spell again in Wild Shape. Meh. Um... At level 6, Knowledge Domain Clerics will now d gain Channel Divinity Read Thoughts. Nature Clerics will correctly gain Dampen Elements, and Trickery Domain Clerics will correctly gain Channel Divinity Cloak of Shadows. It might make Shadow Heart more useful in some more stealthy thing imagings. God, I can't believe she's Trickery Domain. Trick I mean, it's such shit. Also, when you purchase a statue from Boney in the Circus, you can now choose to make it full equipment, camp clothes, or butt-ass naked. Scratch's ball will now be harder to lose. If you lose his ball, go see him at camp. He might give it back. Ball warranty voided for Chasm-related accidents. Added a corridor controller option, so if you want, you can have the end turn button require a hold instead of just the tap. I can see how that would be frustrating for console players. Um, fix the enemy of justice conditions, conditions sometimes applying when it shouldn't. Fix an issue when assaulting someone while invisible would still cause a guard to spot you and start a dialogue with you if there's a civilian nearby. Halston will no longer spontaneously decide it'll be fun to turn into a bear before he talks to you in Act 1. Added more autosaves in the Shadow Curse land and several to Worms Crossing in the lower city locations including the Steelwatch Foundry, Iron Throne, and Rivington. Licking the hunk of spider meat and the gauntlet of shard might make you sick. You should have listened to Gale. You can now read the recipe for the Emperor's favorite soup. I kind of want to check that out, Loki. You can now use sponges and soaps to clean up your com party members, removing grime, blood, and bad odors. I mean, I will say there have been certain romantic scenes between you and between me and Karlak that were a little jarring because we were both smattered with blood. Kazador suddenly remembered that he can turn into mist and fly. I mean, that's not really a spoiler, just to be clear. He is a fucking vampire. So he'll no longer give up the ghost if he falls into a chasm. There's an inconsistent issue where some enemies wouldn't do anything during comics of dash and move. Fix some enemy NPCs being able to shoot through swords and feeling floors and ceilings. They said they played fair. So I'm going to skip over the flow. Uh, and I don't want to... Um, I, I, I'm gonna only I'm gonna only read the things that aren't censored. Added better multiplayer support for the post celebration night in Act One. Now all avatars can choose which companion they want to get jiggy with. Lazel was having trouble getting over Act One and Two. She'll no longer make certain comments in Act Three, as though you're still in the earlier stages of your adventure. Block some quest updates for Jahira's quest when you skip certain points parts of it to avoid spoiling big reveals. And Gail Wolf should no longer complain about you making a deal with Raphael if you haven't. Uh, tweak the art color, the blah, 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 our animation UI. Uh, oh, UI, this is actually... Sorry about that, had to sneeze. You can now customize which solution is selected in the second slot of the alchemy panel. It's good. Added map markers for when characters want to talk to you. 
added unique map icons for the magic mirror and wither's wardrobe improved skill the skill section of the character sheet added icons for individual skills added stars to indicate proficiency and expertise in certain skills and improved skill tooltips good more information is better and for is, is the better combat rounds are now displayed under separate headings in the combat logs so it's easier to distinguish when things happen i love that but yes Baldur's Gate 3 is a lovely game. I'm so glad. It, it is such a giant, huge, you know, interconnecting game that the fact that, like, I, I'm, I understand why they're still making it better, but also, like, the people are obsessed with Baldur's Gate 3 in a way that is borderline. Like, people are more obsessed, like, if somehow people are more obsessed with Baldur's Gate than they were obsessed with Elden Ring. And Elden Ring was, like, the last big game to, like, be this huge. I still sometimes feel sorry for, like, Starfield. I wonder if, like, they had released in February instead of two weeks after Baldur's Gate 3, they, they would have been better. But Starfield's doing perfectly fine trudging along. It's a Bethesda game. It's going to be fine. But this is, but this, we're not talking about Bethesda. We're talking about Baldur's Gate. Bald, this, I love Baldur's Gate. This is a great. I love it. Um, I'm still playing with the eight, having care, have, you have um, up to 16 people in your fucking party mod because I like having everybody with me. Um, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you. This has been your Baldur's Gate 3 update. I'll catch you on the flip and have a good rest of your day. Toodles now.